afternoon lately. We are now going to start our debate section where we open up the floor to two guests. The topic is, has social media taken over the news? And if so, is it positive or negative? Today's guests are Ethel Lloyd, a former media student studying media communication at Westminster Uni, and Charles Harris, an apprentice working at Swindon Adver. In question today is, has social media taken over the news? And if so, is this a positive or a negative thing? The main story we are focusing on is the case of Sandra Bland, a young woman who was pulled over by the police in the US for a wrong indication in her car. She was taken to a cell and tragically, she took her own life. The evidence didn't add up and it became very popular on social media and it ended up on UK and US news. Ethel, well, what do you have to say about this point? Well, the case clearly shows that the news goes onto the social media sites to check the local news and to see what people are following so that they can get the highest ratings. Charles, what do you have to say about this point? In Bland's case, social media is the reason she's got some sort of justice, you could say. People used to hear about news, international news, local news, through newspapers, but now they know it through new media, like Twitter, Facebook, and that spreads stories. But new social media selects what they want you to hear. Is it a clear representation of everything? Well, I believe that we do get to choose what we see because we search for everything that we want to be a part of on the internet. Yes, Ethel, you can search for what you want to see, but social media sites tailor your searches based on your past searches, so the results you're seeing aren't completely true, and they are biased. Well, people are obviously hashtagging the stories so that they are interested in. It's nothing to do with social media handing over the stories to the news because they have no power over that. What's your take on this? If they start the hashtag, obviously social media users are going to see the story because it will be pushed right to the top. But it's actually the social media companies like Twitter and Facebook that are pushing the story to the top, not the users. Ethel, what do you think about this? Well, I do agree with Charles, but however, I do think it's a positive thing because without people hashtagging things on social media, stories wouldn't ever get known, such as the Sandra Blaine case. Also, big news stations would never take on a biased story. I'm not saying there is a choice, but if myself and yourself search for the same story, we get two completely different sets of results social media sites tailor your results based on your personal searches meaning you don't get back a true set of results you get different results okay guys time is nearly up but would you both like to give a short summary on whether you think it's positive or negative for news channels to gain their information from social media well like i said before i think it's a positive thing because if it wasn't for me and other people on social media no one would know about those stories i mean we're helping people share their stories such as the sandra Bland case and if it wasn't for us, then none of these things would get taken to court and then no one would get justice for them. Charles? I think it is negative because social media sites can choose what they want you to see. They tailor it to our own personalities. Mm -hmm. It's quite scary. If you look at Paris yeah. View, they choose what they want you to see, like Google, True. Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. And it's not real news, it's bias. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing Facebook do when you sign up? They ask you about your information, your personal information. Sure, yeah. So thank you very much, you two. Um, we have a debate on our Twitter page in which you can vote on who you agree with more and we'll cover the winner at the end of the show. Hopefully Twitter won't change that one. So thank you so much for watching. And in tomorrow's segment, what really isn't to do is mug, eh?